Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to remove Bluetooth devices from your Windows. And I'm going to walk you through a different steps to go ahead and remove the Bluetooth device. Now, the first step is to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings page, on the left hand side, you may go ahead and cl click on Bluetooth and devices. Under this section, you will see the list of Bluetooth devices which were previously connected to your com computer. So in case if you want to delete any of these devices, uh, you may go ahead and click on these ellipses here and then click on remove devices. That will go ahead and remove these uh, Bluetooth devices from the computer. This is one way of doing it. Another way of uh, doing uh, disconnecting or removing Bluetooth devices is from the uh, device manager. So this step will talk about how you can remove the Bluetooth devices from the device manager. So let's say if you're not able to remove the Bluetooth device from the systems settings, you can remove it from the device manager. How do you do it? You can do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. Once you're on the device manager, just in case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. And once you have the device manager open on your computer screen, you may go ahead and expand Bluetooth. Now this is where all your Bluetooth devices will be listed. Now let's say if you want to remove any of these Bluetooth devices, let's say if you want to go ahead and remove uh, the Moto G Plus, which is uh, my phone, which I was using in the past. If you want to remove it, all you have to do is you will have to do a right click on the device which you want to remove and click on uninstall device and click on uninstall. That will go ahead and remove the Bluetooth uh, particular device from the computer. This is one way of doing it. Just in case, in spite of doing this, if the Bluetooth device it would still show up uh, on your computer. Next thing is to remove it from the uh, registry editor. How do you do it? You will have to go and open device manager again the same way how you opened in the previous step. Locate Bluetooth and if you want to remove one of the Bluetooth devices uh, for the demonstration purpose I'm going to use OnePlus bullet wireless um, earphone. So if I have to remove it from the registry, first thing what I will do is I will do a right click on the device which I want to remove and then go to properties. Once you are on the properties, go to de details. Under details, under property, you will have to go ahead and select hardware IDs. Now, once you have the hardware IDs, you will have to, you can go ahead and do a right click and click on copy. Now you know what is the hardware ID. Now, now you will have to go ahead and open registry editor on your computer. How do you open registry editor? In the search, you can go ahead and type reg edit. Open registry editor. In case if you get user access control prompt, you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, by default, when you open registry editor, this is how it might open. Uh, you would see on the screen or else in case if you have opened registry editor in the past you might see that um, you would see the registry editor this way so if you uh, you can go ahead and collapse registry editor so that it is structured in this format now once you have the registry editor um, to find out or to remove a bluetooth device you will have to expand H key local machine so this is the computer you will have to expand H key local machine under H key local machine you will have to expand system under system you will have to go ahead and expand current control set under current control set you will have to go ahead and look for services expand services under services you will have to look for BTH port I will also mention the uh, registry location in the uh, video description or in the screen. So you will have to go with the alphabetical order. So you will have to go and look for BTH port, which you will find right here. And as I said, it would be in alphabetical order. 
Now under BTH port, you will look for parameters and then you will look for devices. Now under devices, you will have to match these characters with the device which you want to remove from the device manager. Now since I decided to choose to remove one plus bullet wireless, the div hardware ID for this is um, the one ending with 99C7. You will see the same hardware ID listed under this section. So let me go ahead and try to uh, look for a different hardware IDs. For some reason, the hardware ID is not displaying it in the registry. So probably I might have to go ahead and restart the computer in that way it would not show up. So let me go ahead and choose Moto G Plus and see if that hardware ID uh, is displayed. So let me do a right click and go to properties. Under properties, let me go to details. Under details, look for hardware IDs. And here, um, there is a hardware ID which is ending with FA90F. Now this is representing to the same hardware ID in the registry. So here what you can do is you can do a right click in the registry. Now this is referring to Moto G Plus. If I want to remove this from my computer, close the uh, details for the device manager and do a right click and go ahead and click on delete and click on yes and restart the computer the moto g plus uh, a bluetooth device should be disconnected from the computer so this is one way of doing it another way of doing it is using a command prompt uh, which i will walk you through it so you will have to follow the same step you will have to find some details from the device manager if you want to delete it from the command prompt so the first thing what you will do is you will open the device manager again by doing a right click and clicking on device Man manager once you have the device manager open look for bluetooth device and uh, yeah and let's say if you want to remove the moto g plus again for the demonstration so you do a right click go to properties click on details under details you will have to look for device instance path so once you have the device instance path, you will have to copy this. And uh, here, what you need to do is, um, once you have the copy, um, you will have to open the command prompt. In the search box, you can go ahead and type command prompt and click on run as administrator. If you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. In the command prompt, you will have to go ahead and type the command which says PNPUTIL space remove dash device space. Now, here you will have to go ahead and type this command so you will have to type inverted comma here and you will have to paste this path so to paste it either you can use a shortcut control v or you can do a right click on the top bar click on edit and click on paste and you will have the command so as soon as you paste the command the device would be removed automatically uh, from the computer. You will see a message saying that device removed successfully. In case if you are finding difficulties in typing this command, what you can also do is you can open a notepad. Once you have the notepad open, you can copy the descript command from the description. So you have this command, copy the device path ID and replace it with the device instance path so you can paste it here copy this command again uh, and go to the command prompt do a right click and you will have the command and hit enter so that will go ahead and um, execute the command and it will remove the bluetooth device from your computer so this is how you can 
go ahead and remove a Bluetooth device from your computer. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.